My name is Tracy Sternberg, and I'm the Director of Programs and Sponsorship with NC Tech, or the North Carolina Technology Association. Uh, please mute your line. Um, we will be happy to take questions. You're welcome to submit them um, in the chat or Q&A, um, or I'll take questions at the end. So um, we'll go ahead and get started. Oh, there we go. Um, First, I'd like to welcome you to this virtual briefing on our NC Tech Awards. Um, and what we'll be talking about today will be the application guidelines, the selection process, and details about the Tech Awards Gala itself that'll be held later this year. So NC Tech has been honoring outstanding achievement in the tech sector for more than 25 years. The NC Tech Awards is North Carolina's only statewide awards program that's focused on North Carolina's tech sector. You can find complete information, including links to the online submission platform at www.nctech.org slash awards. So first, we'll start off with a review of the categories of the, the different awards, as well as a list of the awards being offered this year. We're excited to, to announce that we've um, refresh several categories that reflect today's tech sector and the technologies that are trending and making an impact in our world. The awards are organized into groupings within three different categories, which are technology corporate awards, innovative use of technology awards, and individual awards. So first, let's talk about uh, the technology corporate awards. For technology corporate awards, applicants must be a technology company to be considered for the awards you see listed here. Note that many of these categories have been refreshed over the past couple of years, but we still have some of our longtime most competitive awards, such as Software Solutions Company of the Year. Uh, we've refreshed the industry-driven awards a bit to better capture the actual industry sectors. For the top 10 tech startups to watch, NZ Tech will recognize 10 tech startups with the following qualifications. They must have been founded in the past four years. They must be headquartered in North Carolina, and they must have demonstrated a foundation for success such as funding, leadership, product development, customer acquisition, and the like. You can only win this award once as there's a new class of uh, startups to watch each year. Now let's transition to the Innovative Use of Technology Awards. These awards are open to any company, organization, institution, or government agency. We'll also accept applications from a collaboration, but there should be a lead organization. Recognition goes to those that have demonstrated the impact of technology in areas such as using tech for good, digital transformation, a government project, artificial intelligence and data analytics, as well as and cybersecurity. In its second year, make uh, the manufacturing the supply chain award is back again. Now let's talk about the individual awards. The individual awards recognizes executives and stakeholders for their accomplishments and contributions to the tech sector. Awards are given to a CIO of the year, a Chief Information Security Officer of the Year, a woman in technology, and a public leader. Making its second appearance this year is the Tech Difference Maker of the Year, which recognizes an educator, nonprofit leader, or tech person who's using technology to make our community and world a better place. We also feature two special awards, the Tech CEO of the Year, which we've refreshed last year. This will recognize a tech CEO, founder, or president from a North Carolina company and will be voted on by their peers. The second is the Beacon Award for Outstanding Achievement, which recognizes the impact of an executive over the span of their career. Now let's pivot to the application process. When you visit nctech.org slash awards, you'll find a link to the online forms where you can apply on behalf of your company, organization, or institution. You can apply on behalf of your employer for one or more categories or awards on the same application form. 
We've tried to simplify the process a bit, allowing you to select the category of awards you can apply for on the main page. Just click either Tech Corporate, Use of Tech, or Individual Awards to get started. The application will require you to provide general information about your organization. Note that for each category or award you select, a field will appear to allow for a brief explanation as to why your employer should be recognized for that particular award. In addition, several awards do require financial and or employee information. It's required for tech corporate awards and encouraged for innovative use of technology awards. You'll also be able to attach any supporting documents that you would like to be reviewed. Those of you who participated last year recall that we use an application platform called Reviewer for the application process. For the individual awards, you can both nominate an individual or apply on behalf of yourself or a colleague. And we ask that you provide a statement as to why this individual should be recognized for this selected award. Individual nominees will not be required to submit an application, but will have the option to if they would like to include additional information. NC Tech will reach out to them and confirm their willingness to be considered. The deadline for all applications is Saturday, July 15th, so please be sure to get your applications in before then. Now let's talk about the selection process. Once the application period closes, we will then go through a two-step review process. Our presenting sponsor, Cherry Beckert, will execute the initial review of all applications. If you submit an application, Cherry Beckert may reach out to you with clarifying questions or for additional information. We ask that you be responsive should you be contacted. In early September, the selection committee will meet um, and this committee is comprised of leaders in economic development, education, and media from across the state. They will convene to discuss and determine finalists and winners. The finalists will be announced in mid-September as we move into full promotion of the awards gala. Some tips for applications. First, be specific. Address how the applicant meets the criteria of the award or awards that are selected. Second, be authentic. Focus on original achievements, impacts, or successes. Be timely. Provide information and examples from the last 12 to 18 months. Be unique. What makes this applicant stand out? And providing testimonials is a great way to do that. And lastly, be quantifiable. When possible or required, please provide numbers demonstrating growth and impact. Now, here are some frequently asked questions. Does my company need to be a member of NC Tech to be considered? No, membership is not required for a company or an organization to apply or to qualify as a finalist or winner. Does my company need to be headquartered in North Carolina? No, but you should have a significant presence in North Carolina relative to the overall size of your company. The only exceptions are for the North Carolina Headquartered Tech Company of the Year, as well as the top 10 tech startups to watch. These companies must be headquartered in North Carolina. What is the deadline to apply? The deadline to apply is Saturday, July 15th. Can I save my application in the platform and come back to it later? Yes, you can create a login when you access the application site. When you return to the site, you'll just select login to an existing application. You'll be able to make edits and additions to your application up till the July 15th deadline. What happens if one or more applications are submitted from the same company or organization? If the applications include uh, or include one or more for the same awards, they will be combined for consideration. If you would like your application to be considered separately, please specify in the category explanation which project or team is being recommended. If my company has won before, can I submit again? Yes, each 
Each year's awards process starts fresh, except for the top 10 tech startups to watch category, which recognizes a new class of startups each year. Can I see a list of the finalists and winners from previous years? Absolutely. You can find a list of the finalists and winners from previous years on the NC Tech Awards submission page near the bottom. Now let's get to the fun part, the celebration. The NC Tech Awards Gala will be held at the Raleigh Convention Center on Wednesday, November 1st. Here we will honor the finalists and announce the winners. This event will be held in person. And we last year we had a, a, about 750 attendees. It was a lot of fun. As I mentioned, we have about 750 attendees from all across the state join us to celebrate North Carolina's innovative and growing tech companies, organizations that have demonstrated success in the use of technology, and leaders in the tech space. So regardless of whether your company is a finalist or not, we encourage you to bring your organization out in full force. You can register individually, reserve a table, or sponsor the event. And speaking of sponsorship, sponsorship is a great way to showcase your company and build your network. We've already sold many of our sponsorships, so if you're interested, I would encourage you to check out the sponsorship menu, which is linked on the event page of our website for complete information about available sponsorship opportunities, including several new ones. If you're interested in one of the sponsorships, I would encourage you to act quickly as they will go fast. You'll see here that sponsorships come with a wide variety of benefits. One popular option is to sponsor and present an award on stage. A, benef a benefit of sponsoring early is that you get to select your category and award you'd like to present. If you have any questions or need any additional information regarding sponsorship, please don't hesitate to contact me, Tracy Sternberg. You've got my telephone number there, or you can reach me via email at Tracy, T-R-A-C-Y, at nctech.org. All right, I have gone through all the information that I was planning to review, but a couple of quick highlights to touch on. First, don't forget the application deadline is July 15th. If you have any questions regarding applications or nominations or sponsorship, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Again, here's our telephone number. And we wish you all the luck and look forward to seeing you uh, at our awards gala on November 1st.